Well, all I'm going to say is the name Golden Glory. Uh, you two combined together have this horse running some amazing times. Um, I want to ask you first, uh, as, as someone who has helped to redesign the track, um, could this new track be assisting with it being a little more equipped to, for these particular fast times? Absolutely. I mean, the tra track has made a significant difference. Really has. The animals are a lot happier, healthier. Um, all sorts of benefits. I want to say other than the overall track record, every single track record has been broken this year. So that speaks volumes on just how far we've come from last season to this season. Injuries, we've practically reduced. I mean, we still get, you know, like any athlete, you still get a little injury here and there. But again, significantly reduced all sorts of injuries, shoeing issues and stuff. We seem to, um, we seem to be onto something here. Taiwan, you are in the bike of Go, uh, Golden Glory. Um, you've seen that horse over this year become faster and faster. How scary is it being behind an animal that's that's going as fast as it is, as young as it is? It's definitely eye-opening for, for a two-year-old to be going that fast. And, you know, he's never seen something like that before. Hopefully that record stands for quite a while. I, I would say so. Um, but it's amazing the power and the speed that he has and just pulls and pulls and keeps going. Just loves to run. Now, when do you sense that he wants to run faster? When you're warming up or when you're getting ready for the racing? I would say in the warm up, I could see if he wants to go. He's, he's ready, he's on the bit, he's hot. Uh, but in the race, as it goes along and we start actually rolling, he tells me it's time to go. Now you're watching this unfold on the sideline. So, what what advice are you giving Kaiwan as he gets in the in the seat to make sure that hey, if he's ready to go, let him go or hold him back because it's a long season. Absolutely, um, management is the key, especially when you're dealing with a two-year-old. Um, Kai makes the driving part very easy for me. I have to tell him very little. He's the only person, you know, he's he's raced him since he started racing in October, right up until now. So, I mean, Kai knows the pony better than anybody. I train him every day and um, yeah, Kai, Kai does what he has to do. I, I don't, I really, he makes it easy for me. How's that? A two-year-old, what's the secret in getting him to go as fast as you've got this one going? I don't think there is a secret or a formula. Or it's just, you know, every now and then you get, you get a fluke and he's, he's something special and, you know, I'm grateful, Kai's grateful that, that, you know, that I earn him and Kai races him. You know, he's, he's a very good horse. It was two weeks ago that, or yeah, two weeks ago that you broke the record. Prior to this one, did you think he would get faster that short period of time? I mean, you would never, you never really know, but I guess he, he definitely had some more in the tank, but to shatter it like that is amazing. I've never been that fast. I never thought about going that fast. It was pretty awesome. Another two weeks off maybe and to come back and shatter that one? Uh, that would be great if it could happen. <laughs> How are you managing to hang on? Because obviously when, when a horse is going that fast, you're trying to control steer and all that. How do you manage to hang on? Uh, you know, I just find myself in the seat, place my feet good, um, and really just let him do the work, let to coach him around and see what happens. And we got the result. When you're putting in the time training with the horse, do you sense that hey this could be the one that could and you're looking at a few years time that could possibly be threatening the overall track racket yeah i mean he's um he's knocking on the door i mean if you would have said a year ago if you'd have said six weeks ago last week that a two-year-old would go in 102 and change i think everybody would have just looked at you and smiled and walked away but you know he's he's been training a ton he's 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 a strong strong horse and yeah, he's doing everything right. And I told Kai yesterday, I said, you know, this colt is really, he's, I think the week off last week has freshened him up. You know, he's just a baby. Um, I said, you know, see what he warms up like. And Kai came in and said, we got a lot of horse today. I said, well, let's see what he does. Second heat, you got the rail. Let him stretch out again. And he says, okay. I said, he's had a week off. He'll be all right. Well, 
We didn't think he'd stretch that far, but anyway, it's, we'll take it. <laughs> they always say you always want to save the best for last. The last race of the day, something special? Uh, it was very special. I would say it definitely goes down in the books. To, I actually have so many records competitively over this year. It's been an awesome year. You know, I might never get another year like this, so take it as it comes. You guys take the bragging rights for a little while now. Uh, do you see anyone right behind, possibly? As far as two-year-olds, I mean, Lee Reina has, Lee and Sergio have an amazing two-year-old colt, which happens to be our colt's brother, half-brother. So that, that makes it even more special. You know, he sent his mare and my mare together. We sent them down, bred them and came back, and they were born within a couple of days of each other. So, you know, it, it's it's amazing. It, it's special to, to have accomplished what we have so far, but when it's a homegrown, you know, we own the brood mare and Lee owns his brood mare, and to produce two amazingly good two-year-old colts like that is um, speaks volumes. So the challenge is on. Someone's on your heels. Can you handle it? I can. I'll take whatever comes to me. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, guys. We look forward to faster times maybe in a few weeks' time. Definitely. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah,